Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, this webcast session uh, with Rate Gain and World Hotels. Um, we're just about on time now, so, uh, but we will allow just one more minute um, in case uh, other people are joining in so that uh, they don't miss the start. So uh, one more minute and we'll get going. Uh, I'm EVP of uh, Hospitality Solutions uh, at Rate Game. Uh, you'll be hearing uh, quite a bit from me today. Uh, also during the session, a little bit later on, uh, you'll be hearing from uh, Edward Perry, who is Senior Director, uh, Social Media OTA Partnerships and Innovation Projects at World Hotels. Uh, so the, uh, the order of events for our uh, webcast session today, uh, I'll give you a uh, the introduction and the and the background on our on our topic, um, and then we'll also hear from uh, from Ed with his perspective from World Hotels, um, and then I'll uh, uh, take things a little further with another angle uh, from the rate gain perspective. Uh, we will allow time, uh, as you would expect, uh, as in any good webcast session, we'll allow time for questions uh, towards the end of the session. Um, you will have you have the capability using the uh, go to webinar software to uh, enter your question actually at any time while we 're going through the session um, but we uh, we won 't pause during the uh, actual content of the webcast uh, we 'll come back to the questions at the end so um, let 's uh, look in a little bit more. Uh, detail at the topic, which is uh, hotel distribution technology. And uh, of course, that's a very broad topic, so um, we will try and narrow it down a little bit more than that for you. But uh, what, what we're really looking at um, is the, the complexity of the uh, hotel distribution technology environment and some of the challenges that that generates for hoteliers. Uh, both in terms of the actual technology itself, but also looking at the challenges that arise just generally in relation to distribution. Um, and uh, rather than uh, just leaving you with complexity, well, of course what we'd like to do is to try and make that picture simpler. So um, in relation particularly to the technology side of the ho hotel distribution environment, um, uh, we'll look at some uh, examples of ways in which uh, some clarity, some additional clarity and some additional simplicity can be brought into that uh, technology environment. And uh, as I mentioned before, we will have uh, a question and answer session uh, towards the end of the webcast. So please feel free to uh, enter your questions in the, uh, in the question box in, uh, in GoToWebinar. So, um, as a hotelier, uh, I'm sure um, many of us will, will look around and think, uh, you know, technology, is that a friend to us or is it a foe? Um, and um, uh, while I was uh, thinking about the, the material for this discussion, uh, one of the things that occurred to me was um, a, a statement, a law actually, that was uh, originated by Arthur C. Clarke, who is uh, a, 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 an author and uh, uh, who during his lifetime um, made many uh, notable comments about uh, the way that technology works in the world. Uh, and one of the most often quoted, uh, there, were, there were actually three laws that Arthur C. Clarke um, originally coined. And one of the most often quoted is the third one, which is that any sufficiently advanced technology should be indistinguishable from magic. Uh, now, the second law, I haven't got the, the second law on the slide, but the second, the second law is also quite interesting. Um, Arthur, Arthur C. Clarke's second law was, the only way of discovering the limits of the possible is to venture a little way past them into the impossible. Uh, now, we will uh, endeavor in our discussion today to remain focused on what is possible rather than what is impossible. Um, uh, and generally, um, uh, the, the, the picture of uh, hotel distribution technology is quite complicated. 
Um, there are, uh, at the next level of detail, there are, as an example, potentially thousands of channels of distribution available to a hotel. Um, and drilling down even further uh, into a level of detail, the relevance and, and contribution of an individual channel can not always be obvious. So, uh, in many situations, the distribution technology available to us in the hotel environment can lead to the kind of things on the on the signpost on the slide there. You know whether that's confusion, lack of clarity, uh, even bewilderment in some situations. So um, let's break this down maybe another layer and start to look at some of the specific challenges and, and the sources of the complexity. Uh, in a little more detail. Um, there are uh, many OTA channels uh, available for, for uh, a hotel to distribute through, uh, and they seem to be proliferating as well. Uh, and th for the hotel to control and update more than maybe a handful of those OTA channels uh, is, a, is a difficult and time-consuming proposition. Um, the, in addition to that, the, the typical hotel is, is very often dealing with a number of different systems uh, in the distribution environment. And each of those systems will have its own requirements for data and may require um, data entry to be made in different formats. So um, th there are a number of uh, systems or user interfaces or applications uh, quite often for a, for a hotel to deal with. Um, interfaces are a, a whole topic, a whole area of uh, confusion and complexity all of their own. Uh, and by an interface, what we usually mean is we're, we're trying to connect together two different systems so that they can exchange information. It's a straightforward concept to describe, but it's much more difficult to achieve a good interface between two systems. Uh, and quite often, um, particularly in the hotel environment, what may be promised in an interface and what is actually delivered in an interface can end up being two very different things. At a, a business or a, at an operational level, there are many different um, rates or rate categories uh, and, and types of rate data for the hotel to manage. Um, city center hotels may have different uh, rate categories and rates to be managed in comparison to a resort property, for example. Um, or within the hotel, there may be uh, different types of rate data for wholesale um, channel distribution versus retail channel distribution or for corporate business. So the, the, uh, the proliferation of that uh, rate data adds another layer of complexity to our picture. Extending the, uh, the point about interfaces a little further, if we start to con consider revenue management systems and how they uh, are integrated in, in uh, many hotel environments, we need to include and account for uh, them in our technology equation because they're very often the main source of decision support information within the hotel environment. So uh, we, we need to account for um, that aspect in our uh, overall technology picture. Keeping track of uh, how productive the channels that we're working with are being um, is another area of, uh, of potential challenge. And especially as the number of channels starts to in increase and proliferate, uh, being able to determine which are the ones that are um, generating business for us and which are the ones aren't becomes increasingly important. So uh, keeping track of that productivity is, is, a, is a key area, but it's not always easy to do. And um, as new types of channels start to appear, um, increasingly mobile channels are being regarded as a, a separate subset of the distribution uh, environment. Uh, social networks, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about those in a minute. Um, a, a multiplicity of other new age types of distribution channel are all appearing on the scene. 
So all of these things combine together to, to add to um, the, the levels of complexity that we see. Now, on top of the, uh, the system complexity and the technological complexity, we're surrounded by uh, an endless, what appears to be an endless stream of uh, data of different types. So rates and inventory information is rarely static in, in most hotels, uh, or rarely static for very long anyway. Uh, whether it's because of uh, seasonal changes or variations in the market conditions, um, that there are often um, changes that need to be made in terms of rates that are being offered, inventory that's being made available to uh, the various uh, channels of distribution. And uh, revenue managers inevitably will try to increase the level of control that they can exert on uh, the distribution channels by applying restrictions or sometimes by closing out um, the, uh, different rates or room types uh, in their hotel at various times. And that, of course, increases the amount of data that needs to be transferred and managed. And in the other direction, as uh, what we hope is going to be from our uh, well-crafted distribution strategy, uh, uh, a constant flow of reservations and bookings into the hotel, um, that creates another uh, flood of data in the form of confirmation numbers, everything else that the, uh, the hotel needs as part of the process of uh, managing the inflow of guests. And then in amongst uh, this day-to-day -day continuous cycle and flow of data, we're also dealing with one-off activities like promotions and uh, offers that are being made through the various channels that we're working with. So uh, our, our data flows are, are certainly uh, another aspect of the complexity that we need to deal with. Now let's, um, let's consider things in a slightly different direction just for a second. Um, uh, if we step to one side of the, of the technology consideration um, and, and start to look at how the market um, is also adding to the complexity. Um, there are a couple of uh, uh, quotes here from uh, Professor Peter O'Connor at the Essex uh, Business School. Um, and in case you're wondering, the, the picture on the screen there is, is not actually of uh, Professor O'Connor. Uh, it's of Yoda. And uh, the reason for that is because Professor O'Connor's article uh, in which he made these quotes is called Online Travel Agencies, The Empire Strikes Back. Um, the, the first quote, I will just um, read it because it, it is quite interesting. Uh, Tough love from the OTAs looks likely to continue, placing hotels in an increasingly hostile situation, particularly in 2013. To survive, hotels need to become much more proactive about managing their portfolio of distribution channels. In particular, they need to develop and cultivate relationships with not just the major players, but with multiple alternative prospects. Smaller niche players need to be nurtured to avoid becoming overly dependent on any source of business. So we can see, you know, from the academics perspective as well, that channel proliferation is actually set to continue and, and is going to be essential for uh, hotels to address in order to stay ahead of where the market is. And that's further actually reinforced by the second quote. Um, when it comes to distribution, Hotels need to stop their short-term thinking and look at the broader picture. If they continue to endlessly feed the major OTAs with inventory and special rates, soon they will be left with no alternatives. A broader, more portfolio-based approach to distribution is needed to minimize risk and in ensure hotel success in the long run. So, um, as we can see, uh, it, it's really not just about the OTAs any longer. Um, the, the, the other types of channels are increasingly becoming important. So um, let's think about uh, the social media side of things uh, in a little bit more detail. Uh, this is um, a set of uh, uh, whiz-bang facts about social media. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but, but there are a couple actually that are worth drawing attention to, uh, one of which is that India is expected to be the largest Facebook market 
by 2015. Um, the, uh, another one that I thought was interesting, there are 40 million blogs in Russia. And uh, just one more to, to kind of draw attention to, QZone, um, which is the main uh, social network in China, has already has half a billion users and uh, shows no slight sign of slowing down, I gather. So, um, you know, with all of this uh, activity in the social media space, there's still, uh, I think it's true to say, no real certainty about how to make social networks part of the distribution landscape for hotels. That there's a great deal of social media related activity, but how it actually fits into the distribution picture and, and how social networks can be leveraged to generate more bookings and more revenue for the hotel. Um, that, that's still uh, something that is being tried out in lots of different directions. And within the hotel itself, there's quite often competing interests when it comes to social media. Um, is it the marketing team's responsibility? Is it a revenue management responsibility? Is it the sales team's responsibility? Or is it a combination of all of those um, in order to get the most out of uh, the, the social media uh, capabilities? Now, um, I do want to just uh, add one more layer to the complexity picture. Um, please don't worry if this image that you're seeing on your screen doesn't make much sense. Um, what it's actually, uh, it's, it's uh, a photograph of uh, a whiteboard in Rate Gain's head office um, in India, where we uh, attempted one day to map out all of the distribution paths that are available to a typical hotel. Uh, now, this is deliberately, uh, like I say, it's, a, it's kind of a distant view. Um, it's just a photograph we took because we were proud of the artwork. Um, but the slightly worrying aspect of this is that it doesn't make much sense when you see it in this photograph format. It, it made um, not much more sense when you were up close to it, to be honest. Um, and I guess what it shows is that, uh, firstly, it, it is, as I say, kind of a representation of the complexity, but also that it is quite difficult to represent um, what is a three-dimensional world of uh, hotel distribution um, in, in a two-dimensional space. Uh, it's quite difficult to do that. It's quite difficult to achieve it in any sensible way. So there are lots of arrows, lots of boxes, lots of color in that picture, uh, and it might help to trace out some specific pathways from one place to another. But if we're trying to get the overall picture and trying to simplify it, we, we really need to, um, to look at things in a slightly different way. So having um, set out some of those areas and considerations of the, of the, the complicated side of things, uh, let's see if we can start to simplify the picture a little bit. Um, and as we're setting about that, uh, task of simplification, we're going to try and meet some uh, specific objectives. Uh, firstly, uh, and this is important for any technology provider to remember, technology should support and facilitate what we're trying to do, in this case our distribution strategy. It, it shouldn't be dictating what that distribution strategy is. So we need to, to keep that um, facilitation objective in mind. Secondly, and uh, referring back to uh, Clark's third law uh, from earlier, we want reliability, we want ease of use, and we want cost effectiveness. In, in other words, we want our technology to be as close as uh, possible to magic. And the third objective we have, we should keep in mind that by using integration, that allows us quite often to cut down on the number of different systems that we need to use. Um, and so um, that increases the level of, of uh, simplicity because we're dealing with, with fewer different applications and makes the whole thing um, easier, uh, easier and more straightforward to, uh, to deal with. So uh, maybe we can we can take our simplification objective 
to the next level um, and, and consider some questions from, that, that might appear from uh, our confused hotelier's perspective. Um, one question that, that sometimes occurs, um, and particularly for rate gain as a channel management provider, we, we hear this all the time, uh, where uh, the, the question is, can we include in our simplified picture uh, a channel management tool and a central reservation system in the same picture? And uh, generally speaking, uh, the answer to that question is yes. And we'll show you a couple of ways in which that can happen as, as part of our discussion today. Uh, secondly, is, is there a way to uh, reduce the number of variations in our picture and make, make the whole world look simpler? Uh, and uh, of course, that's, that's what we're uh, hoping to do through uh, this discussion and, and through the examples that we'll show you. The third question, which is uh, often the most difficult one to answer is how do we optimize our return on investment uh, on the uh, distribution technology that we use? There really are multiple different ways of applying technology in the, in the distribution, hotel distribution space. And unfortunately, the value of some of those uh, technology solutions is not always uh, as clear and obvious as it should be. So what, one of the things that uh, we believe is very important uh, from rate gains perspective, and we believe it's very important for our customers as well, is that we must always direct our attention towards using technology to generate revenue. Uh, in, the, in the distribution space, it's not only about automation, although of course automation is important and reducing manual effort is important and reducing complexity. But at the same time, in order to achieve our return on investment objectives, we have to ensure uh, that we're keeping revenue generation at the forefront uh, of what we're trying to do. So let's, we're going to look at a couple of um, models, a couple of um, specific suggestions, if you like. Um, and uh, here's, here's the first model uh, represented in a, a simpler graphical format as we possibly can. But let's say that in uh, our hotel world, maybe we have uh, a central reservation system of some kind that we use. But maybe that central reservation system is somewhat limited in its ability to connect with all of the different types of channels that we want to connect to. Uh, and certainly when we, when we start to get into some of the uh, newer types of channels of distribution and into the social media space, uh, your typical CRS platform is probably going to struggle to deal with that. Now, one of the ways in which uh, rate gain um, uses the integration capabilities that we have to simplify the, the picture for hotels is actually to connect our channel management capability at the back, if you like, of the, of the central reservation system. So what, what we do is we use our channel management capability to increase the number and variety of channels that a central reservation system can communicate with. And in this model, when we do things this way around, as far as possible, we want the, the channel management part of this picture to be as transparent as possible. In other words, we are actually trying to achieve the objective of making this as close to magic as possible. And uh, another aspect to consider, of course, is that by increasing the number of channels that we're connected to, uh, that potentially provides uh, more bookings, and more bookings means more revenue. So uh, this particular model um, is deployed in a number of situations by rate gain customers. Um, uh, Raygain has a, a history of this type of central reservation system integration, which, which actually stretches back several years, and we do have considerable experience in this. 
Um, uh, some of the uh, the central res companies that we work with include um, Sabre Hospitality with Synaxis, and also uh, Trust International with uh, uh, Your Voyager. Now that actually um, leads very neatly uh, to my opportunity to introduce my colleague on today's call, uh, Ed Perry from World Hotels. So um, I'll I'll hand over to Ed, and and uh, what I'll ask him to do is to give us a little bit of insight into um, World Hotels, firstly, but also about uh, the benefits that World Hotels has seen uh, in working with uh, this type of integrated distribution solution. So, um, Ed, uh, I'll hand over to you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Tim. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great honor to be with you all today to discuss various options in terms of channel management solutions. Uh, my area of responsibility at World Hotels in terms of the OTA segment is uh, both to contract and to support our hotels once online travel agency partnerships have been contracted to improve their overall distribution on the property level. In the next slide, you'll see that one of our fundamental models at World Hotels is to explore, dream, and discover. So what does that really have to do with channel management? Well, one of our responsibilities is to ensure that more people will explore our diverse product line. And wider distribution is probably the best way we can handle that. Because as we grow as a portfolio, we understand that there are going to be greater needs in terms of the new properties that we bring on board. So we have to be prepared to provide them with opportunities to distribute their product to different markets and to support their local market as well. In the next slide, you'll also see that really we are a diverse portfolio. We're approximately 500 hotels worldwide. Our roots uh, were in Europe. Uh, but that quickly spread. We currently have uh, slightly over 100 properties in Asia Pacific, including Australia and New Zealand, and uh, approximately 100 properties in North and South America. So we are a very diverse portfolio, and as such, uh, we always require a, a diverse distribution strategy for our hotels that is ever growing. So in the next slide, I just wanted to point out that as a purveyor of independent hotels and resorts worldwide, we have a different view in terms of what we provide to our hotels. We believe strongly that we should provide every single hotel the option uh, to participate in a wider array of distribution products. Although we do not mandate all of the products and services, we do definitely encourage our hotels to participate in a global scale. And that's why channels managers, in addition, are important to us because they allow us to widen the net that we, would be, uh, that we are offering to uh, our hotels in our group. So again, a very important part of what uh, companies like RateGain do. So let's get into some of the priorities of World Hotels and some of the things that we look at when we're looking at distribution. Uh, first of all, I mentioned that we're looking at offering wider global distribution to our hotels. Again, every time we add a new hotel or a new destination, and that occurs every month, we have new opportunities and, of course, new, new challenges to provide uh, relevant, uh, uh, relevant online travel agency opportunities to them. So, travel managers such as sorry, uh, channel managers such as uh, Raking do support us in that area. Next, it allows the independent hotels to tap into certain opportunities within our portfolio. We realize that not every single online travel agency is going to be applicable to every single hotel, but we sure want to give the hotels the opportunity to tap into all the great business that are available to them even business that they may have not tapped into with other providers. Next, we're very cognizant to enable hoteliers more OTAs via seamless portal to our CRS, which is Trust International. That's important because we realize that all hotels are uh, in need of, uh, of time. And it's very difficult to manage 20, 25, 30, 40 OTA extranets individually and manually. So we try to provide a seamless process, and that seamless process for World Hotels connects directly to our CRS via the channel manager to enable uh, the easiest possible solution 
for our hotels to manage their inventory. Next, making the process of managing the OTAs as easy as via any GDS connection would be. That's our goal because we can provide as many options in terms of a, an extranet uh, slash uh, channel manager relationship, but if the process is not easy for hotels, we will lose hotels uh, from using the product. So we try to make it as very simple as possible. Keep it simple is our motto. And of course, we try to do it at the lowest possible cost of distribution that's available in the marketplace because we realize that hotels are always very cognizant of cost and weigh that with the cost of opportunity of gaining the new business. So in the next slide, we'll talk a little bit about the importance of channel management for world hotels and why we feel so strongly that it's an integral part of any distribution strategy. The first and I think the biggest challenge and the biggest opportunity that I see in the industry today is that not every online travel agency that has an extranet, has a two-way interface in place with a channel management product. Now why is that important? It's great to have an extranet, but if you have to manage them separately and individually, it simply doesn't make sense from a time perspective, particularly uh, when you aggregate them with new OTAs popping up every day. So we at World Hotels look for opportunities to connect these channel manager uh, distribution products directly to our CRS. And that's where uh, companies like Rate Gain really do a great job because they really act as an advocate for our brand and work with the new OTAs or even existing OTAs to try to develop a two-way interface that will connect with our CRS. That would not be possible alone, but with the technical capabilities of a channel management company, that truly supports our efforts to be able to widen our distribution, make the process easier for our hotels, and thereby increase our distribution because we provided an easy, effective solution. The next uh, thing, I mentioned the advocates for the brands, and that's, that's something that's very important for us. Channel management products offer us a diverse OTA portfolio. Now, what does that mean? Um, since we've been working with channel management products, we've noticed that our ability to tap into a larger OTA portfolio than we had never ever imagined actually occurred. Because uh, products like RateGain provide us with a lengthy list of existing connection opportunities that are already available and ready to roll. So what does that mean? It enables us then to connect uh, with the support of rate gain or alone uh, with the OTAs and say, okay, I see you have a relationship with this channel manager. We'd love to work with you. And that generally opens the door quicker than trying to contact an online travel agency, which in my experience at some point uh, doing it alone is slightly difficult, particularly with the smaller regional OTAs. So the support of companies like rate gain definitely do help our costs. Strong international reach is also very important to you. I mentioned the global uh, nature of our brand, and we certainly appreciate the opportunity to work with a channel manager that has not only a regional approach, but a global approach. Because uh, our hotels that come on board with us expect that World Hotels is also working to expand their business out, particularly in emerging, mar emerging marketplaces. So that's extremely important to us as we develop our e-distribution strategy. And then finally, just to reiterate, our hotels demand greater connectivity options that are seamless in nature. Um, typically, uh, a typical world hotel property will work with anywhere from 30 to 40 OTAs, some less, some more. And the easier we make it for our uh, partner hotels to uh, support the distribution, the more likely that they will gain uh, more from the opportunities that are available through these markets. And through a CRS connectivity with a seamless uh, management of rates and inventory, that makes the whole process even easier. So with that, we definitely at World Hotel see an extreme importance of channel management in our overall e-distribution process. And we thank you very much for having the opportunity to speak with you today about channel management and our experiences. Over to you, Tim. Ed, thank you. Um, it's uh, always uh, interesting to uh, hear real-life 
perspectives and and real customer perspectives uh, you know especially from a technology providers viewpoint um, to be able to to see the specifics of how that uh, that, that delivers benefit within within your particular environment is is very useful for for us and I, I I'm sure it was uh, interesting for uh, our audience today so thanks very much for that thank you that now um, let's uh, the, the, those of you with uh, with good memories uh, or who were eagle-eyed earlier in the presentation will remember that uh, we looked at one option for the combination of uh, channel management and central reservation systems, um, and so uh, let's let's consider uh, another uh, option, another possibility, and in this case, um, we're putting the channel management component in control of uh, everything. Uh, in fact, from a from a distribution viewpoint, now uh, your distribution space, um, as as we touched on earlier, it may include. Uh, connections to the GDS or to to a brand.com via a, a central reservation system. Um, a, by introducing the channel manager into the equation to control everything, it allows you not only to uh, address the needs of that CRS and downstream environment, but also gives you access to uh, just about all the OTAs you could possibly eat, um, plus uh, a, a variety of other uh, different types of booking channel, uh, maybe a booking engine is separate, that also needs to be uh, fed and updated, uh, and uh, as we were touching on earlier, the, all of the different types of emerging channels uh, and the, the proliferation and variety of those emerging channels shows no sign of slowing down. So um, I think the most important aspect of this uh, from the channel management perspective is to, to think about it not just as uh, automation, but uh, the channel management component should also be addressing uh, the other uh, objectives that we identified earlier uh, of being as close to magic as possible, but then also uh, making sure that we can actually achieve our return on investment objectives as well, and that we have that revenue generation uh, component at the forefront of, of our consideration as well. So um, uh, when we put a channel management tool at the center of the picture, that means that there are now no limits on the types of uh, distribution that, w that can be managed through that setup. Uh, with one access point, with one control point, we can deal with uh, OTAs, whether they're small, medium, large, regional, global, whatever they might be, uh, with wholesalers, with tour operators, with social media channels, with new age channels, with the GDS, either directly or via the CRS, as we saw in the diagram with brand.coms and booking engines and every different type and variety of, of distribution channel is manageable. But at the same time, because we're doing everything in one place, that meets our simplification objective and reduces the overall burden um, and significantly reduces the complexity as well. And as things change, as time goes on, as new channels appear and we need to uh, add more channels or maybe take some channels away, it's a, a, a flexible and fast way of managing that ever-changing um, environment. And I guess the part that comes closest to magic is today the level of sophistication that's available in a good channel management tool is uh, uh, constantly increasing. That, that level of sophistication grows and grows. And um, it's now perfectly possible to track the current status of um, both the available inventory and the productivity of the various channels that we're connected to. And then we can use that information to drive a assortment of, of strategies that we may want to implement. So for example, maybe we want to change our rates or uh, to open and close particular channels based on the level of demand. Uh, maybe at particular times we want to run promotion uh, or, or offers automatically. Uh, maybe we want to share the the inventory that we have available uh, or the uh, various different types of rates that we're offering across 
a selection of channels and uh, automatically update those channels as we receive uh, bookings from one of them or, or another. So we automate the process of managing the available inventory that we have in order to maximize uh, the yield and get the most uh, the largest possible benefit and, and so grow the revenue to the, to the largest degree from all of the channels that we're connected to. Now um, I, I have mentioned um, the importance of uh, having access to uh, good data, good information, and uh, this is just, I'm not going to go through this uh, in a lot of detail, but this is just an example of the type of data that is available when you put uh, a channel management tool in control of your distribution. So uh, it, tracking uh, past and future performance is part and parcel of uh, the, the channel management capabilities, and keeping track of those key indicators of performance, whether that's in relation to room nights or revenue being generated or the average rate being offered uh, or the average length of stay that's available. Uh, all of those things can be used as input to the strategic decisions and the, uh, the rules that we want to apply uh, in our environment to, to uh, have the maximum level of return from our distribution capabilities. And uh, thinking again about that, uh, that return on investment uh, objective, that return on investment consideration, which, which really does have to be uh, at the heart of the decisions and the, uh, the direction that we take. One uh, element of it is that as we reduce the, uh, the distance between the hotel and the channel, as we, as we make that booking path as short as possible, the inevitable result is that it lowers the overall cost in general. Um, now there are a number of different ways in which um, intermediaries can um, be present in the distribution picture and sometimes those uh, multiple layers, uh, as is the case quite often, of intermediaries uh, they may not all be entirely visible. It may not always be clear to the hotel how many different steps there are in the path between them and the ultimate um, booker or, or, or the guest. Um, but what is almost always the case is that every layer in that uh, picture, every, every step on that path is going to add another component to the cost. So um, one of the things that uh, can be uh, available to us as an option when we have channel management at the center of our distribution picture uh, is that it opens up other ways of connecting to channels that we're already connected to. So it's not just a case of adding new channels into what may already be a quite complicated picture. It's, there's also the possibility of changing the way that we deal with some of the channels that we're already connected to. And maybe by changing uh, those connectivity options and uh, looking at things in a, in a different way, that actually does achieve the objective not only of generating more revenue but reducing the cost of distribution to those channels that we're already working with. And using a channel manager in that environment can be a very cost effective way of um, achieving that, uh, that overall objective and uh, delivering the benefit in terms of ROI. So, um, you know, those combination of things, whether it's uh, efficient uh, connectivity, uh, the provision of useful information and analytical capability, um, and um, layering on the simplicity, uh, that does bring us fairly close um, I think to our uh, objective of being at least uh, partly magical um, and it's certainly uh, in terms of current state of technology as close to magic as we're as we're likely to get in the foreseeable future. Now of course um, it will be no surprise I'm sure that um, because uh, rate gain is a provider of uh, channel management technology both in, in uh, both an integrated form and in a standalone form uh, it won't surprise you that uh, 
we did just want to mention uh, our channel management product, uh, which is called ResGain. Um, th there are a, a number of uh, features of ResGain, um, whether it's uh, its capability of managing promotion distribution, uh, the provision of uh, smart analytical data in a dashboard, uh, the automated inventory management capabilities, uh, the uh, uh, huge number of um, online and offline channels that it's connected to, uh, which it will deliver as much connectivity as any hotel is ever likely to need. Um, and then the automation features, whether it's uh, in the way that each channel is mapped or uh, the capability to combine uh, room types together and deliver booking information back to the hotel. Uh, and also, uh, very importantly, the integration capabilities, not just with central reservation systems as we talked about today, but equally importantly with other uh, systems and applications in use at a hotel, whether that's the property management system, a revenue management system, a booking engine, uh, uh, any of the, uh, the vast variety of applications which have some contribution to make in the distribution space that the, the integration component um, of our channel management capability is an extremely important element um, and certainly something that uh, helps to address that overall objective of, uh, of simplification that we've, we've talked about in our, in our session today. So um, we've reached a uh, uh, a logical kind of conclusion point um, at this stage. Um, we are, of course, always happy to um, provide more information with relation to all of our products, but particularly on the channel management side. Um, and we'd certainly be happy at any time uh, to discuss the various integration options that are available. So um, at this point, um, I am going to pause and uh, see whether there are any uh, questions from our participants today uh, that anyone wishes to raise? Just there is the uh, the option for questions to be entered in the uh, go to webinar software, so that you should have a questions box available to you. So um, if there is anything that you want to uh, to ask. Uh, now, then, by all means, you can do that, uh, or we're very happy to uh, follow up with more uh, specific areas of discussion uh, after the webcast. So I'll just give it a second. Oh, okay. Uh, we. Um, that's a very good question. Um, uh, there's uh, a question has been asked, um, what is a new age channel? Well, um, in the uh, environment of uh, distribution, uh, what, what is normally thought of as being the kind of primary uh, channel of distribution is around the online travel agent or around wholesaler or tour operator type of sites. With new age channels, what, what we're thinking of in, in terms of our definition um, is maybe the, the newer types of business model um, that are quite oft, often operating uh, for distribution, whether that is um, uh, maybe a, a deal site, a private deal site, uh, or a flash sale type of um, operation, where there, there maybe are different qualifying criteria for um, how the distribution happens, how the, how the hotel inventory is distributed, and the, uh, uh, the types and, and variable nature of the different um, categories of customer that those sites are serving. New Age, though, can actually be even more broad um, in terms of the definition than that. And, and uh, as we start to see an expansion of um, various social media platforms, um, they really start to uh, to come into the category of um, what, you know what may be thought of as um, as new age channels as well. So it's really the um, uh, the various different new ways 
in which technology is enabling reservations to be generated for hotels. Um, and the important aspect from a channel management perspective is ensuring that we are able to communicate with those types of channels. So uh, it was uh, Catherine that asked that question, so I hope that's, uh, that's helped to answer it. Um, we have another question from uh, Ritvik, which is, do you think there will be consolidation amongst the channel managers? And how do you think channel managers will manage their revenue lines given the growing competition and reducing pricing levels? Um, both of those are uh, extremely pertinent questions from a, a rate gain perspective. So thank you for asking those. Um, I think that uh, actually there's consolidation of, of technology solutions constantly. Um, it is a, it's the nature of technology that new components will grow up um, and uh, they'll, they'll grow up kind of in isolation from each other and then as they become more mature there's inevitably some consolidation that happens. I think it's actually less likely that there's going to be significant consolidation between uh, uh, channel management providers, but I think what you will see more and more of is the alignment of uh, channel management solutions with other uh, parts of the uh, distribution technology space. So what, what typically happens in the most effective consolidations is that there's synergy, there's a combination um, of the, the uh, strengths and the benefits of a number of different elements. Um, so, and, and you start to see that a little bit with uh, the combination of channel management providers and revenue management systems and central reservation systems. And, and actually what's happening is that the, the boundaries around what was typically thought of as a channel manager are really starting to expand a great deal. Um, and, and I think that's, you know, that's particularly relevant in terms of what we've been talking about today, that um, it's no longer correct to think of a channel manager as being simply an automation tool. Um, it, it, w what should happen is that the, the strongest channel management solutions will be the ones that address that requirement for simplicity and return on investment. And in fact, you know, to the, to the second point in that question about managing the revenue lines, I think that the key to that is no longer to think of um, channel management and distribution in terms of just automation. Um, it's important to be able to provide support, decision support, um, to be able to address the, the levels of sophistication in revenue management that hotels are typically dealing with today and also to look on what is happening in the channel management space uh, as being almost another type uh, or another way of approaching the, um, the sort of tasks that have been performed by uh, central reservation systems in the past. So um, I think actually the, uh, the future um, in terms of being able to be flexible and being able to uh, address the needs of hotels it is, is very well positioned as far as uh, channel management of providers are concerned. Um, so uh, yes, there will be competition, but it will be very broad competition in terms of everyone trying to deliver the most effective solutions for uh, distribution technology for, for hotels. So um, thank you for, uh, for that question. Ritwick. Um, I think that's it for uh, the question. And Oh, uh, hold on a moment. We have one more question coming in. Uh, and this one is, uh, in, in your view, what percentage of hotels will start using channel managers uh, in, for example, in India uh, in uh, the next two years? Uh, that's... Um, I think that question, um, again, is a, is a very interesting one to consider because um, in the fastest growing markets, uh, which um, in, in terms of, uh, you know, from a hotel technology perspective are probably uh, India, China, Brazil, uh, Russia, the, the level of growth that uh, we see from a rate gain perspective is, is significant. 
and um, because uh, a number of, there, there are a number of places where uh, in particular segments of the marketplace there's quite significant expansion in terms of new hotels being added to por portfolios but also there is a, a desire to um, uh, make sure that the best technology is being used so if you look at it uh, in the view of um, what is the uh, the best way for a hotel to address its distribution needs then um, the starting point and the end point should be a sophisticated distribution management tool and it's uh, it's certainly the channel managers that put you in the best position for for that um, Okay, uh, a couple more questions. We only have a couple of minutes left, so I will deal with these as quickly as possible, but I'd like to get through as many questions as possible. Uh, next one, what type of options uh, out of the two that we showed today uh, is fit for what type of hotel? Um, uh, if we're in a, a small hotel uh, group that, that wants to stay independent, um, then you know I think that that um, is going to be most uh, efficiently addressed by looking at having the channel manager in control of all of the distribution. Um, sometimes, uh, depending on the uh, the type of hotel and the way that the hotel is working, uh, there is a lot of centralization of activity, and sometimes today that centralization may be built around a CRS platform. Uh, so in that case, extending the scope of what the CRS is doing. Uh, is a very useful way of ensuring that it's continuing to meet the needs um, of the hotel. But certainly where the decision sits with the hotel as to how to manage the distribution, more often than not, uh, the channel manager centric or the distribution platform centric approach uh, is the one that is likely to yield the most uh, benefit. And certainly with the level of sophistication, and of course I'll mention ResGain again at this point, but with the level of sophistication that is available in a, a well-developed and, uh, and uh, expanded channel manager, uh, then everything that the hotel needs will be addressed there. Uh, there is a question about uh, uh, pricing models. Um, we, what we'll probably do with that, because we are about to run out of time, um, is uh, we, we'll address that separately in an in a individual follow-up conversation. Um, but just to say there are always in distribution technology a variety of um, pricing models available, whether they are subscription or transaction-based. Um, and of course, from a rate gain perspective, we are no different. So um, what I will say is we've never yet uh, failed to find a uh, commercial model that uh, fits the particular environment that we're operating in. So you would expect us to say that, I'm sure. Uh, but we can always um, find a commercial model that works well for the particular environment that a hotel is working in. So uh, we would be delighted to have that uh, detailed conversation with uh, anybody who wants to. So uh, in the interest of finishing almost exactly bang on time, um, I will um, just um, ask Ed if he has Anything else you wishes to sign off with before we say goodbye? Um, yeah, in reference to uh, the previous question in regards to who is the best fit for channel managers, another consideration uh, you might want to take into account is staffing. If your hotel is uh, adequately staffed or staffed to a level that you can afford to, based on the country you're operating in, being able to have multiple people manage uh, extranets, that's one thing. But in a traditional environment, particularly in the West, um, channel managers do add value by allowing a hotel to take away from itself some of the work that is involved with managing one extranet after another after another and applying that those same resources that would be otherwise doing manual tasks to be looking at other revenue generating opportunities within the hotel like uh, calling on clients or uh, trying to book uh, greater meetings that uh, offer uh, large revenue opportunities for hotels. So we see uh, channel management also as a way to take away some of the burden that uh, occurs in terms of uh, heavy uh, clerical tasks and, and enabling hotels to apply it somewhere else within the business. Fantastic. All right. Well, um, thanks very much for that, Ed. 
Uh, and thanks uh, also for your uh, all of your contribution today. It was uh, extremely uh, enlightening and and uh, and good to good to hear. So thank you for that. Thank uh, you. And so finally, um, uh, it just remains for me to thank everyone uh, who has joined us today for your attention and uh, uh, and I hope you've uh, you found it a useful uh, session. Uh, we would, of course, be delighted to continue an individual conversation uh, to let you know a little more about uh, how rate gains solutions can help you uh, with your simplicity and uh, return on investment and technology as close as possible to magic objectives. Uh, so thank you once again for joining us today, and we look forward to uh, having the opportunity to talk to you again uh, in another uh, webcast uh, in the very near future. So thank you and have a great day.